Hey friends, Lucian here with the Bullish Bears team. This video is going to be about the first red day pattern. Uh, so if you want to know what that looks like on a chart, I'll break it down. I'll show you a couple examples here. So first of all, let's talk about what a red day is, right? There's green days and red days in the stock market, right? Up days, down days. So a red day in general is just a bearish day or when price closes uh, low on the day. So whatever, you know, if price is closing negative on the day, that's a red day, right? Now, the first red day pattern is typically most effective, uh, you know, when people are thinking about this pattern after multi-day run-ups. So as the stock's running up multi-days or several days in a row, that first red day, you have to be careful because many times there's either a reversal, a pullback, or like a really trend reversal, right? And that's something to be very aware of. Um, you know, so the more multi days that it runs, you know, the first that first red day happens, you got to be very careful and keep an eye on it. And that's why it's important to know the other patterns, you know, support, resistance, trend lines, all that good stuff, uh, because it helps you to kind of see how effective that reversal uh, is going to be. Is it just going to be a minor pullback or a major drop? So the first thing I'll do is I'll show you here on a very well-known stock, GameStop, you know, where it's kind of one of those volatile stocks. You know, there's a difference when this happens with, you know, a stock like GameStop or a penny stock compared to, you know, a major stock, let's say like Apple, all right, or Google. You know, it doesn't mean that there won't have multi runups and then pullbacks with major stocks like big names that are more reliable, large cap stocks, but it's just uh, they're very, a lot more volatile when it comes to either of these meme stocks like GameStop uh, that happened, you know, back in that short squeeze event back in 2021. Uh, and you'll see it's, you know, they still keep happening, but, you know, these either the meme stocks or those penny stocks, be aware of those multi-day runners and then when that first red day happens. So let's take a look right here at GME. You'll see right over here, these green candlesticks, those are positive days, right? So you'll see multi-day run up. And then when I zoom in here, let's just go right over to here, get my drawing tool. See that first red day, that first red candle, and you'll see multi-day runner up. And then what did it do? It just tanked right back down. Uh, so, you know, pay attention to when you see several days running up. Typically, or many times with these stocks, these meme stocks or penny stocks, it's the pump, right? People pumping it before the dump, pump and dump. Now, it doesn't, again, doesn't always happen with, you know, I'll, I'll show you what it looks like with larger cap stocks. But you'll see like stuff like this as it's kind of running up the pump and then boom, you have like a red day back down kind of pumped back up. Now, again, these other things, there's other patterns to be aware of, things like double tops, right? You'll see this had a high over here, kind of running up, first red day, back down, some consolidation, pumped back up again, and you see how this high couldn't break this previous high. You have that double top pattern. You see that red day? This wasn't really a multi-day runner, but it was multi-day back here, kind of pumped up, consolidation, pumped back up, red day, boom, right back down. And, you know, so you'll see this is like, you know, when a stock kind of goes up like this, it had a breakout, you know, so kind of a cup pattern goes and breaks out. But when you see these reversals too, it's always look left, right? What happened in the past affects the future. So you see this kind of consolidation back over in here, in these levels here. So when you're mapping out those support and resistance levels, you extend those lines out to the future and then watch what price does out in the future. And actually, I didn't even look right over here. This is interesting. See this? I just put this line right over here. Look what happens over here. That red day, that first red day happens right over in here. So this becomes resistance. And then look right back over here. Price runs up, has a few days running up over in here. And then you'll see that first red day right down over here. Price didn't go and break this high, which was previous resistance. What happened? Price, uh, you know, kind of fell back down, got to move back up again and kind of another double top, right? This top couldn't break this top. And then you had another red day, boom price fails. And you'll see this happening so much with stocks. Uh, so this is just in particular with GameStop. 
Now let's just take a look at a stock, Apple, right? Apple really well known, shows you right here. Let me, let me do this. Let me, before I show you this, let's just go back up and you can see Apple was at the all time highs there at the 182.94, all right? So I think that was a reverse split. So it was higher price, but that's, you know, with the reverse split, uh, the, the all time high, right? And then you'll see kind of previous right over in this level here. So if I zoom here on the chart, you'll see a multi-day runner, right? Green days. So this is not being pumped per se, right? I mean, it's stocks, you know, Apple, really well-known stock. Price moves up first red day, right? Pull back, right back down to support. You don't know that this is going to happen until it happens, right? So, you know, this is a pullback. So you could say, oh, it's a pullback, possible bull flag breaking out but this candle wouldn't break above here. You have that double top failure and price failed, right? And so it's just anything can happen when you see that first red day, but it's being aware of the stock, being aware of things like trend lines. When I draw this trend line, you can see, oh, okay, connecting these like these base levels right over in here, right here, that was support. It went up like this and boom, it broke support. Went back up. So then, you know, you see if price is going to start failing. This is the 9 EMA. It's a short-term uh, momentum line. But when you see price start, you know, as it's moving up here, it's in that trend. As it starts failing and going below, then you can see possibly a new trend, right? So that's going up to the downtrend. And you can just kind of go like this and kind of map out those levels, the lower highs formed, right? So these are higher highs farm or higher lows forming, higher highs, higher lows, and then boom, lower highs, you know, re trend reversal down. So it happens with all different stocks. You know, it's just being aware of these multi-day runners. It's really effective because many times it's breaking a trend. Uh, so that's with, you know, Apple and GameStop. And let me look at a, just a random penny stock as well. Actually, let me pull up Canopy Growth, which was a really popular pop stock, pot stock in Canada. This is where you got to be very careful with sectors, right? When you watch sectors go and run, this is a weekly chart here. I just didn't zoom out far enough on daily. But again, in it, you know, first red day, just being aware of like weekly, monthly, daily, whatever your time frame is. Typically, it's again, first red day on a daily chart. But just to show you how this works on a, even a weekly chart, as these pot stocks or these sectors get pumped, you see here multi-week run and you see how this kind of just really just skyrockets up and then you have that first red week right over here, big nasty volatile candle and that's kind of like a high wave-ish spinning top-ish candle. It's hard for, you know, that's a really nasty looking candle and you can see the reversal all the way back down, right? So this happens in all different sectors. Uh, I wouldn't even, I didn't even look right here, but I'll just pull up Bitcoin, right? It's going to just happen on all the different sectors. We'll go into a daily chart of Bitcoin. Uh, da, da, da. You know, this has been kind of actually just in a downtrend. Let's go to a weekly chart of Bitcoin. You know, you start to see it like kind of right up over in here, right? Multi-week run. And then you'll see kind of that first red day. And it doesn't always pull back. Sometimes it consolidates or runs up a little bit before it, boom, it tanks. Because you can see kind of a double top failure, a little bit of a fake out, didn't break this high. And then when it failed back over in here, right down, you see what happens in the past affects the future. New high over in here, price went up, didn't break above and hold above this high, failed this previous high, and then boom, timber went back down. So that's why it's important to learn things like support, resistance, and patterns uh, because it helps you to make educated trading decisions. So that's the stuff that we teach uh, within the Bullish Bears. We are an educational trading community. We teach support, resistance, patterns, price action to help you develop the skill set so you don't just randomly buy or sell or listen to talking heads on TV and social media. It's learning a skill set you know, determining, you know, what your trading style is, what your risk management and risk tolerance is when trading, and then putting this together and uh, learning this stuff so it helps you to be an educated trader.